Hello, I'm Helen and welcome to my super small London kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make celery soup in my new favourite gadget, the soup maker. Even if you don't particularly like celery, you may well love this. I don't like raw celery, but I can't get enough of this soup. So, let's get cooking. So thanks to the soup maker, this makes a really, really creamy soup but without any cream. So we're going to need a head of celery, a potato, this is what makes the soup creamy when it's blitzed up, a stock cube, some garlic granules, and my secret ingredient, celery salt, and then just a glug of extra olive oil. So I like to reserve some of the celery leaves for garnishing the soup. It just makes it look a bit more special once we serve it. I'm gonna set those to one side. Now I'm gonna very roughly chop the celery, and then do the same with the potato. Just want chunks that are a bit smaller than an inch, about two centimeters. Don't forget to use the end of the celery, it's got loads and loads of flavour in it. And remember that a good cook wastes nothing with flavour. So we're now going to load the soup maker up with the potatoes and the celery. Add the celery salt to the garlic. The stock cube. Put a little glug of olive oil in. And now top it up with water so the vegetables aren't quite covered so we have a nice thick soup. The great thing about this soup maker that I love is that it's so powerful it makes a really really velvet smooth soup and also once it starts you can just go off and forget all about it and in half an hour you have delicious soup. So I'm going to pop the lid on, twist a seal, turn the machine on, it's really cute it says hello, just let it get ready to go and then we press smooth soup. There's a half hour cycle, it's going to blend a bit, heat it and then it will finish with one long blend and I'll see you then. And there we have it, absolutely beautifully smooth celery soup. And then you can serve your beautifully fresh, hot, velvet smooth celery soup. There we are, fresh from the soup maker. And now I'm just going to garnish it with a few of the reserved celery leaves so it looks pretty. Just add a little black pepper. And there we have it, beautifully smooth, creamy celery soup, but without the cream, all made in the soup maker. Scrumptious!